everybody, welcome back to another Girl Tech Fan Game tutorial. In today's Girl Tech Fan Game tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how you can add a player model to your Girl Tech Fan Game, like a 3D one with arms that won't glitch, make your arms go inwards, because I know that happens with a lot of them. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to my Discord link in the description. Once you've joined my Discord link in the description, it'll say Fruit Pickers, that'll be the name of the Discord. Okay, you need to scroll down till you see scripts for your own Girl Tech Fan Game. Scroll down till you find the fast IK uh, thing. Credits to Sam Sam and Noah. Uh, download these two. Uh, things you don't have to download the top one but this is an already made model that's like uh, empty that you can use or you can just get other ones but i'm going to use this one for an example and yeah download the script okay and then once you're done make sure to import both of the things that you just added into your game if you don't know how to import import them you can just go right click import new asset and then selecting them both and then hitting import okay the first thing you need to do is go to your resources photon vr player okay then what you need to do is actually drag in that like, your player model that you got as of mine it is this Okay, then what you need to do is resize it till it's like the perfect size over your player. I now, basically, once you're done that, you'll notice that in your player model, this is mine, um, you'll notice that inside of it, there'll be a bunch of bones. Mine are just labeled bone 34, bone 35. Yours might be actually called like wrist, neck, but it's okay. There's two, there's actually four bones, sorry, you want to look for, and I'm going to talk you through them. We're going we're gonna to do the right side of our arm first. Okay, so basically go through all of your bones. This might take ages, but you need to find the bones that are linked, uh, that are linked to your right arm over here. Okay, I found mine. Oh, the two bones you want to look for is this bone at the very end of the arm, and then this bone at the very top of the arm. Okay. Now that you've found both of these bones, you need to know, you need to label this one, like this bone that's at the shoulder. Just call this right shoulder bone. And then go to your wrist joint for the right hand and call this right wrist joint. Yours might already be called something that you'll remember, but for me, I have to label them to make it easier. Okay, now do the exact same for your left hand. As you can see, I'll go to my left wrist joint here and label it left wrist joint. Go to my left shoulder joint, call it left shoulder joint or bone or I don't know. Okay. That now that is basically most of it set up. Now what we need to do is go to our go to our right wrist joint and our left wrist joint and add the fast IK fabric script that we downloaded from my Discord link in the description. Okay. Now go to your right wrist joint. Go to your right wrist joint where it says target. You want to set that to your right hand. It's somewhere in your player. Just go look for it. And then you want to set the pole to be the right shoulder bone. And the left hand, you probably know what it's going to be. The the target's going to be left hand. And then the pole is going to be left shoulder joint. And now what you need to do is go to your old player model. Just click on everything that you had before and turn off the mesh renderers. I don't recommend deleting it just in case you want to keep your old player model. I always like to keep mine. Um, and I'm just going to quickly texture this one. Now there's one more thing you have to do before we finish. What you have to do is go to your player model, try and find the joint that is the head. I'm going to go look for mine. Mine is right here. So find your head joint and drag it into VR head. And then everything else of your player model, drag that into your VR body. Okay, one more quick thing to mention. You know the VR hands that we disabled earlier? You need to make sure these ha these these hands are facing the same way that your last VR hands were, or then they're not going to be perfect in game. Your hands might be backwards. Okay, this is what you have to do. You need to go back to your right and left wrist joint and just make it so it's facing the right way. Do as I do. Just copy me. Okay, make your your right and left wrist joint like this, and that is and there you go. Working player model, super simple. Takes about takes about five minutes. If you need any help, since this is a quite hard tutorial, let me know on my Discord. But as you can see, uh, since we've moved our hands now, they actually are like facing the right way, and the cosmetics are in the right place. Because uh, before they were like not in the hand. Also, this this uh, this three D player model that thingy I've used like doesn't break. Like your hands don't go like inwards or anything. Like I'll try and show you now. Like they don't go like they can't you can't like break them. Like you, you know what I mean? Okay, that is it for this girl type fine game tutorial. Have an amazing day. Bye.